Shalom Mishpacha, my name is Rabbi Mort, and uh, I have another video. This one is specifically towards our Christian brothers. This may be a little bit hard to swallow for our Christian brothers. So please watch with warning and just pay attention to what I'm saying. So the name of the video is Prophecy About Peter Dying and How Paul Slaughtered the Disciples of Jesus, Including Peter. What do we find as proof? We find it in Gospel of John, chapter 21, verses 18 and 19. I'm going to read it. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, when thou was young, thou girdest thyself and walkest whither thou not. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth my hands, thy hands, and another, and another, that would be Paul, shall gird thee and carry thee whither where thou would not want to go. Now, this is specifically Yeshua talking to Peter. This spake he signifying by what death he should glorify God, meaning Peter. And when he had spoken this, he said unto him, follow the Torah. Now, we'll go to book of Acts. They dragged him out of the city and killed Stephen by stoning him. Meanwhile, the witnesses laid their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul, which is Paul. Acts 8.3 But Paul began to destroy the synagogues, going from house to house. He dragged off men and women and put them in prison, giving, giving them to the Romans. Acts 9.1 And Paul was full of menace and fury of murder against the disciples of Jesus. That would be Peter. Acts 22.20 when the blood of Stephen was shed, I stood there giving my approval and guarding the clothes of those who were killing him. That was Paul's own words. Acts 26.10 And that is what I, I, Paul, did in Jerusalem. With authority, I put many of the apostles in prison, putting them to death. And when they were condemned to death, I cast my vote against them. There is he admitting again. Now, as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers. What became of Peter? This is the Roman soldier saying in Acts 12, 18, what became of Peter? Soldiers give us a little taste of what the last breath of Peter took. As they say, what became of Peter, meaning he has been killed. We also have proof from commentary from Book of Habakkuk and Dead Sea Scrolls that they call Paul the liar, the destroyer, is referred to as specifically to Paul. Not only does the Qumran Khomeini agree with this commentary, but also the Ebionites had a very similar commentary as to why they rejected Paul the murderer. Also, we have it from the mouth of the brother of Jesus, James, or better put, Jacob. He, sm he smelled a rat. He knew something was about to happen. Paul himself refers to James as brother of Jesus. James, the brother of Jesus in Galatians 1.19. Because this is what James says in James 2.20. But will thou know, O vain man, Paul, that faith without works is dead? This referring to the famous writings of Paul that were only written for faith only. Romans 3.28. Therefore, we could conclude that a man is justified by faith without the works of the law, going against the teaching of the brother of Jesus and Jesus himself. Let us pray for all to come out of Christianity and join Judaism, the religion of Abraham and Moses. And of course, the Catholic Church had to cover this up. So they say that Peter is crucified upside down on a cross, which you cannot find any references in your Gospels. So if you believe that Jesus was a prophet, if you believe that Jesus' words are true, that his prophecy is true, then read John chapter 21, verses 18 and 19. Those verses are specifically to Peter because he says, do you love me? He's referring to Peter and he tells Peter how he's going to die. Shalom.